Hi, this is question number 9 taken from June 2014, Advanced Level Maths HSC P3. First part, express 4 plus 12x plus x squared divided by 3 minus x in brackets times 1 plus 2x in brackets to the square in partial fractions. And for the second part, uh, hence obtain the expansion of uh, 4 plus 12x plus x squared divided by 3 minus x in brackets times 1 plus 2x in brackets to the square in ascending powers of x up to and including the term in x square. 10 marks. OK, so let's do it. Now for the first part we need to express this in partial, fr partial fraction. So <clears throat> what is going to be? It's going to be equal to, let us say, a over 3 minus x. OK, 3 minus x. Pardon me for my handwriting. Right, and then plus b over, this is uh, 1 plus 2x to the square, so let's say b over 1 plus 2x, and then plus c over 1 plus 2x to the square. Right, now if we were to send the denominators on the other side with a, so the 3 minus x, 3 minus x cancels out, so we're going to be left with 4 plus 12x this x squared is equal to a times this 1 plus 2x in brackets to the square plus b. Similarly, 1 plus 2x, 1 plus 2x, but you minus 1 here, it is to the square. So you're going to be left with one term, that is 1 plus 2x. So that's going to be b times 3 minus x times 1 plus 2x. The 1 has gone out. Then plus, sorry about this, c times 1 plus 2x square, square, square goes out, you're left with 3 minus x, 3 minus x. Okay, so how are we going to proceed now? Now we can easily see that this is 3 minus x. Okay, so x can be equal to, let us say, minus 3. Alright, so we're going to put minus 3 in here. So what is uh, then 4 plus 12 times, no, not minus 3, because if, if we have 3 minus x is equal to 0, in, bra in, uh, in the margin, 3 minus x is equal to 0, therefore x is going to be equal to 3. Yeah, so 12 times 3 plus 3 to the square is equal to 2 plus 3 is, uh, oh, sorry, 2 times 3 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. So a times 7 to the square, that is 49a. 3 minus 3 is 0, 3 minus 3 is 0, so we're left with 47a. We just need to solve this and what this is going to be. So, <clears throat> to work this out, it's going to be 4 plus 12 times 3 and plus 3 to the square. Oh, 49, that's, that's great. Therefore, we're left with uh, a is equal to 49 divided by 49, meaning that a is equal to 1. Now, this was when x is equal to minus, sorry, x is equal to 3. We have 1 plus 2x here. So what can we do? We can say x is equal to minus half then, because if you send the 1 on the other side, it becomes minus 1 and divide by 2. So now we're going to say when x is equal to minus half, what are we going to be having? And 4 plus 12 times minus half plus minus half to the square is equal to if you put minus half here it's going to become 1 minus 1 plus 1 is 0 so it goes out you put minus half here what are you going to get here you're going to put minus half it's going to get 0 0 times this is 0 so put 3 minus half okay so we have c times 3 minus half what is what is 3 minus minus half so c times 3 minus minus half that is going to give us three and a half. Work this out. Okay, so we're going to have four plus twelve times minus half in brackets, and plus minus half to the square. It's going to give us minus one point seven five. So minus one point seven five is equal to c minus minus three point five c. And because if you minus minus one, minus minus half here, it's going to become 3.5.
So 1.75 divided by 3.5 is going to give us minus half. Therefore, we end up with C being minus half. The other value, we can say, what about when x is equal to 0? What's going to happen? So 4 times, sorry, 4 plus 12 times 0 plus 0 to the square is equal to uh, 0. 2 times 0 is 0, so plus 1, 1, 1 to the square is 1. 1 times a is a plus b. 3 minus 0 is 3. Okay, and then 2 times 0 is 0, so plus 1 is 1. 1 times 3 is 3 plus 3b. Then we have 3 minus 0 is 3 plus 3c. So these two 0. So we have 4 is equal to a. a is 1 plus 3b plus 3 times c. That is 3 times minus 0 0.5 and 4, we send the 1 on this side becomes minus and uh, what do you have? 3 times minus 0 0.5 3 times minus 0 0.5 it's going to give you minus 1.5 we send this on this side becomes plus 1.5 ok, and then you're left on the other side with 3b so in other words, 4 minus 1 plus 1.5 4 minus 1 plus 1 plus 1.5 it's going to give us 4.5. 3b is equal to 4.5. Therefore, b is equal to 4.5 divided by 3. And if you take 4.5 you divide by 3, you're going to see b is going to be 3 over 2. Right, so if we need now to express this in partial fraction, we have a is equal to 1. Therefore, we have 1 over 3 minus x <coughs> plus b b is 3 over 2 plus 3 over 2 times 1 plus x and then you have minus half here so plus c plus minus is minus half uh, 1 plus 2x to the square so here we are expressed in partial fractions so this is part 1 of the question For the second part now, we need to expand this up to the term of x squared in ascending powers of x. So first of all, I would take this, which is uh, 1 over 3 minus x is the same as 3 minus x to the power minus 1. And if we have to expand this, you're going to get, uh, first of all, you're going to make this 1. So this is 3 outside and you have 1 minus 1 third x because 1 third x times 3 is minus x to the power minus 1 ok, so 3 but we mustn't forget, if there's minus 1 here we'll put minus 1 3 to the power minus 1 times 1 plus, how do we expand this? minus 1 times minus 1 third x ok, plus minus 1 times minus 2 for the factorial of 2 times minus one third x to the square okay this is like one over three into one minus minus is plus one third x okay and minus times minus is plus divided by factorial of two is two divided by factorial of two is one times minus one third it becomes one over nine x squared so if you were to expand this it's going to become one third plus 1 over 9x plus 1 over 27x squared just simple, simply multiply this by all that is inside here now for this one okay, we have 3 over 2 so this is 3 over 2 then you have 1 plus 2x to the power of 1 you send this on top it's going to become 1 plus 2x to the power of minus 1 therefore we have 3 over 2 times 1 plus minus 1 times 2x plus minus 1 times minus 2 over factorial of 2 times 2x to the square so this is basically 3 over 2 into 1 minus 2x minus 1 times minus 2 is plus 2 divided by factorial of 2 is 1 so plus 4x square 
multiply this, you're going to get 3 over 2 minus the 2 goes out, minus 3x, 2 goes here, 2 goes here, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 6x squared. Right. And then we have this one, half. Don't forget this minus here. So we have minus half times uh, 1 plus 2x to the square. You send this on top, become minus, becomes minus 1, so times 1 plus 2x to the power minus 2 rather, because it's a square here. Okay, so minus half times 1 plus minus 2 times x is minus 2 times, ah, sorry, minus 2, minus 2 times 2x plus uh, minus 2 minus 3 over factorial of 2 times 2x to the square. And if you were to multiply this, so you have minus half into 1 minus 4x um, minus 2 times minus 3 is plus 6 plus 6 divided by factorial of 2 is 3 3 times 2 to the square that is 3 times 4 is 12 so plus then 12x square basically you have minus 1 times half is minus half minus half times minus 1 minus 4 is plus uh, 2x then you have uh, minus half times 12 is minus 6x squared so we need to add this to this and to this one third plus three over two minus half so we have one third plus three um, three over two okay and then minus half that's going to give us three times one three four over three so we have four over three then we have uh, one over nine minus three plus two so what is minus 3 plus 2? It is minus 1. So 1 over 9 minus 1. So 1 over 9 minus 1 is going to give us minus 8 over 9. So that's minus 8 over 9x. And I have 6x squared minus 6x squared. That cancels out. And we're left with 1 over 27x squared. So plus 1 over 27x squared. And here we are for the expansion of that expression. Hope that helps.